you've got company. Dancy, dancy, dancy. And you know what? I meant to make a review a long time ago of the Suicide Squad movie, but I never got around to it because, yeah, shut up, I was busy. But anyways, yeah, I really like the movie a lot, and I see online that a lot of people are complaining about it, saying, ah, it's a stupid movie, it's not very good. You know what? Shut up. I liked it, and I'm sure a lot of other people did too. So I don't know what exactly people expected, but for crying out loud, it was a good movie. But you know what I don't like? I don't like the fact that all these toys are hard to find, man, because... All the Suicide Squad figures that I've reviewed so far, th those were the last ones I found. Now, I don't know what's up, man, but I can't find a Captain Boomerang, I can't find a Katana, I can't find the Joker in the purple jacket. Man! And you know what? One of the other ones I was looking for was the Harley Quinn in the uh, dress that she wore at the strip club. Now, I, I've looked all over the place for that thing, and then I find out online, I, I, I see a little thing that says, Only available at Amazon.com. What?! So now I'm like, are you kidding me? So, you know, I looked around and I actually found one that I could afford. But I was actually looking for that thing in the store. I didn't know it was an exclusive. That stinks. But I got one now. So today's review will be on the following. Today's review is brought to you by Amazon. Yeah, that's right, Amazon. You better send me bags of money or free things because I just totally advertise for your stupid site. But it's for the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse. Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn, or should it say Harley Quinn number three, because this is the third Harley Quinn figure that I have bought. Oh, but check out that picture of Margot Robbie. Oh, she's so cute. Margot, Margot, seriously, if you're not doing anything, give me a call. Give me a call, please. You can hit me with that bat. I don't mind. But if you look up here, you will see a really awesome the figure itself, and it just looks so good. And you know what? Mr. Evil Cheese had reviewed the, uh, one of the past Harlequins, and he talked about how, you know, she had, like, a fat neck, she kind of looked chunky and stuff. This one actually has a really good female physique, and you know what? That is awesome, and something that's been lacking on a lot of the figures so far. This is cool. Now, if you look carefully, you might notice that, uh, yeah, an elephant or something stepped on my package. Yeah, that's how I got it so cheap. I got this thing for, like, 20 bucks, so, you know, what do you want? And you know what? I think it's awesome. I don't really care that it got squished because now I have the figure. And honestly, aside from that picture, I don't even want this package. Oh, but I want that picture, so I'll cut that out. Now, moving on to the back of her package. If you've seen one of these Suicide Squad Harley Quinn back of the packages before, well, you've seen them all. The only difference about this one is the fact that the Build-A-Piece that you get inside is for the jacketed and shirted Killer Croc figure. And that is pretty awesome. Now, this figure over here is number one. And if you look over here, you'll get his bandaged up hands, which look very cool indeed. Now, out of the figures over here, the only ones that elude me so far is number four and number five, the purple jacketed Joker and the Katana figure. Every one of the others I've found so far. Now, I don't know why these two are so elusive, but man, I can't wait to find them, because when I find them, I can finally finish my Killer Croc. As it stands right now, I have his upper torso and his hands, and one leg, I think it is, and that's about it. So anyways, let's move back to the front of the package one more time. So, here's the front of the package for the very last time, and one of the things that's worth noting is the little photo down here, the painting or whatever, of Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. If you look, she's not even wearing this dress. Now, I don't know why they didn't give her this, uh, you know, take a photo of her in this outfit. I'm sure they exist, but for some reason, we just got another one of her in her little t-shirt and stuff like that. But that's okay, because I really like that picture. But as for the figure itself, it looks amazing. Man, I am so glad to have gotten this, and in hand... It's probably the best Harley Quinn that they've made so far for this Suicide Squad movie. And looking over here, you can see the hands, which, ironically, if you look, they are not bandaged up. What? Moving to the back of the package one more time. Yep, they're bandaged. I just mentioned that a minute ago, so what the heck? Apparently, if you want the bandaged hands, you're going to have to take them off of the other arms that came with the other, you know, uh, Build-A-Piece sets, because those hands are bandaged. Now, I don't know if their little uh, arm joints or anything like that are compatible, so you got me, man. But all I do know is he does not have bandaged hands here. But before we open this package, there is one more thing to note, because I was talking about this little photo painting drawing whatever here, and if you look to the side of the package you actually get a bigger version of that, and hubba hubba, I really like that picture. It is awesome. Seriously, Margot, call me, please, call me, Margot, please, please, Margot. 
So, while we wait for Margot to call, I say we open it! Now, before I show you the figure out of the package, I have to say the following. Mr. Evil Cheese had reviewed one of the Suicide Squad Harlequins. I believe it was the one with the jacket. And, uh, yeah, he wasn't very happy with it. And I really think... Wow! After seeing this one out of the package... Hey, Mr. Evil Cheese! After you saying the following, I think that you will really like this figure a lot. But this one, I'm just not very happy with. Like, the neck, and even up in the torso, it just looks funny and... I don't know, it looks, looks like he's squished. Like well, Mr. Evil Cheese, I think you would be very happy with this figure, because check her out. It looks to me like they got really good proportions on this figure, and she's amazing. Now, she didn't come with that little stand there, and she stands fine on her own. I just didn't want her falling over, because she's kind of got really skinny legs and stuff like that. But anyways, check her out. They did an amazing job on this figure. Now, one of the drawbacks to it is, as you can see, I don't think she's got any waist articulation, uh, so to speak, like, a, like an ab crunch or anything like that. But even though it's ugly, she does spin at the waist, and that's pretty cool. But honestly, it's the sculpt that I can't get over, because as DC multiverse figures go, especially the feminine physiques and stuff, they're never really that good. I mean, the Wonder Woman was, like, weird looking. It did not look anything like her in the movie. And you know what? This is probably, in my opinion, the best Harley Quinn figure we've gotten so far from, you know, Mattel. And this looks awesome. Now, there'll be other Harley Quinn figures coming out that that are going to look more like her and stuff like that from different companies, you know, SH Figure Arts and stuff like that. But as for a figure you can just go into the store and buy, th you know, this is the one I'd recommend, even though I just caught myself and thought, wait, you can't do that with this figure. You have to order it through Amazon. Man! So, yeah, you know what? I don't, I don't get that. This is probably the best Harley Quinn. You can't even buy it in the store. I, what? I don't get it. But anyways, I know uh, Mr. Evil Cheese... Order this figure, I think you'll like it a lot. Especially if you like the movie, which I don't even know if you saw. Uh, but I highly recommend this figure. Let's look at her from behind, shall we? Because honestly, look at all the detail in her hair. She's got a back tattoo. Look at all the little chains hanging off of her dress. This is awesome. Man, they did a great job on this figure, honestly. And aside from it being an exclusive, I don't know. I, I, aside from that, I really like it a lot. I love the way her hair looks over here. Um... I don't know, is that a tattoo? Nope, mine's got a flaw. I thought it was maybe the Mattel words or something written on her leg, but nope, mine's just got a splatter. But honestly, with all the tattoos on her and stuff like that, it just blends right in. Besides, it might wipe off for all I know. But I think she looks amazing. I mean, really, they did a really good job on her. And like I said, for a mass market figure, I like her. I think she looks very cool indeed. And I can't wait to look at her up close because she's got all these tattoos and stuff like that. Now you're probably saying, hey, what did she come with? Well, you already know. She came with these unbandaged Killer Croc hands, which really stink because I thought they would have bandages on them. Now, comparing them to the already Killer Croc arm that I have, check it out. He's got the bandages. Now, like I said, I don't know if this, this bandaged hand is compatible if you pop it off at the wrist and stuff like that, if it comes off like that. But if it does, yeah, you can just mix and match your parts. So, I don't know. That's just weird that these aren't bandaged when it shows them being bandages on the back of the package. But they change stuff like that all the time. Comparing the wrist size and stuff like that, I don't know if these uh, bandaged ones are compatible. But who knows? I'm sure if you customize it, you can make them work. But, yeah, I'm just going to go with the uh, non-bandaged hands since that's what you're supposed to use anyways. Oh, well. I wish they were bandaged for the sake of what it would look like. But it's okay. At least it's Killer Croc. And someday maybe I'll finish them. Because as it stands right now, I've got a torso, a jacket, some arms, a leg, an extra arm with an extra hand, and two unbandaged hands. And that's all I have so far because I can't find the rest of the figure. Man, I can't wait to put this figure together. He's going to look so awesome. And in case you're curious as to what the hands would look like on the body, there they are. I do think the bandages would make it look better, but honestly, you know, I'm going to have to go back and rewatch the movie to see how long his arms were bandaged up. Maybe they weren't bandaged at all, for all I remember. But anyways, that looks pretty awesome, and I cannot wait to finish him. And if I just do this, look, he's done! Yep, I finished him. You didn't know that, did you? But moving back to Harley, I really like this figure a lot. I think she looks amazing, and I say we look at her up close. What do you say?
So, here we go with a super duper close up look and check out the detail work there on her necklaces. That is very awesome indeed. Working our way over here, you'll see that she has a chest tattoo looking very cool indeed. Now her dress over here, it looks like it's made out of sequins and stuff and that is very awesome. You can see she's almost got the Charlie Brown look there going. And then down here, you'll see that she has little tassel leaves hanging off at the bottom of the dress. Now that's pretty awesome indeed. Working our way up here to her face, you can see she's got some pink in her hair over here and some blue in her hair over here. And I absolutely love how they made it look faded. They could have just painted that flat, but on both sides you can see how it's it works our way uh, it works its way up and it's all faded into the blonde and that is awesome looking at her face you can see she's got a little heart and a rotten tattoo right there on her face oh margo you're not rotten oh call me margo please now with all the mattel uh... figures they usually always look uh... kind of little wall-eyed or whatever like they're looking both directions at once but uh... You get used to that after a while. Usually in, in hand, it's not a big deal. And if you have their heads turned a certain way, it doesn't look that bad. But it's just something you get used to. And then over here, you can see her ear. Now, this isn't the ear that had all the tattoos on it. Uh, tattoos, I'm sorry. Uh, earrings on it. It was actually this ear over here. And as you can see, you can't see it because it's hidden by her hair. But that's okay. Now, looking at her hair from behind here, you can see the pink and the blue kind of go together. Very cool indeed, and I absolutely love those little strands of it right there, the pink and the blue kind of going up into the blonde. That is awesome. Because like I said, I expected it to be that big flat blue color there and maybe this flat pink color here all the way through it. But nope, they actually did a really good fading thing there, and that is pretty awesome indeed. Yeah, I like this figure a lot. Let's work our way down here, our arm here. You can see she's got some... Uh, bicep little, it looks like watches. She has a bunch of watches on her arms, and that is awesome. Very cool indeed. Working our way down her arm here, you see she's got some bangle bracelets. Very cool. Working our way, oh wait, she's got some rings on her hands too. That's pretty awesome too. And then working our way over here to this arm, you can see no watches, but she does have a J on her watch, uh, on her on her bicep, and that is pretty awesome indeed. Going down, you'll see some more little bracelets and some more chains and stuff around her hands and then rings too, and that is pretty cool. Now down her legs, her legs are kind of plain until you get down to her shoes, which have some uh, toeless, and it's like the, her toes are poking out through her shoes there. Very cool. You can see some chains and the high heels. Very cool indeed. Now let's flip her around, shall we? Now, looking at the back of the figure, you'll notice she has a back tattoo that says Property of Joker, and that is pretty awesome. You can see the little chains there down her dress. Very cool. You can see DC claimed uh, copyright over her butt, so that's pretty awesome. I would, too, if I was DC. And then down here, you'll see the smudge on mine's leg. Now, uh, you can say, hey, it's a bruise. Okay, it's a bruise. I'll, I'll count that as a bruise. Down here, you can see the little tassel hanging off of her high heels. Very cool indeed. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. I think she looks super, super cool. Very cool indeed. As for the details of her rings, you can see right there she's got like a really cool ring on her right hand. And over here on her left, you can see she's got three rings and that looks pretty awesome. Four if you count the one on her thumb there. That's pretty awesome indeed. My favorite detail by far are these little watches on her arm. That is pretty cool. They did not need to sculpt them to look like watches. They could have just totally made them as, you know, three gold stripes or something. And you know what? I think that that is awesome that Mattel took the time to actually sculpt that. So kudos to you, Mattel. That's very awesome indeed. Now, as for how this Harley Quinn compares with the other two Harley Quinns that were released, check this out. They don't even look like they're the same girl except for maybe in the face. These two on the ends definitely have a bigger sculpt to their body. They almost look like football players or something. Very squat. Uh, yeah, this one in the middle looks way better. And Mr. Evil Cheese had this one, and this is the one he said looked like she was squished. And you know what? Seeing them all side by side, it is more than obvious what he said was absolutely true. Why, oh why, didn't the t-shirted Harlequins there on the ends actually have the physique of the one in the middle. Man, that would be so awesome. And as you can see, her legs are thinner. The skin tone's a lot different. Now I realize these two are wearing fishnet tights and stuff like that, but even just the skin tone looks so much more better. The ones on the ends have the gray skin tone. It just doesn't, it doesn't look right. There's just something off about it. And I really wish that there was a way that they would go back and remake the uh, shirted Harley Quinns or the jacketed Harley Quinns with this you know, body here. That would be so amazing. Now, I realize that they'd have to re-sculpt a body because of the dress and stuff is sculpted to her, 
but man, it shouldn't be that hard. They did it once, and they did it right this time. Very awesome indeed. Now, another figure to compare her with would be the Silver Jacketed Joker, and you know what? These two look awesome together. Very cool indeed. Seriously, I really like the way these two look. I love the fact that they're wearing these outfits in the same scene together. And I really love having both of them. And all we need now is a purple Lamborghini to put them in. And I think that would be totally cool. Now, I'm not going to lie and say that it's very annoying that this is an Amazon exclusive. And it just happens to be, in my opinion, the best Harley Quinn that the Suicide Squad figures have put out so far. Man, it really sucks that you can't, you just can't go into the store and buy her and that you kind of have to buy her online and blah, blah, blah. But I think a lot of people are used to buying figures online, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. But she really is cool, and I really like this one a lot, and I am so happy that I ordered her. So, there's my review of the Mattel DC Multiverse Suicide Squad Amazon exclusive Harley Quinn figure, and she is absolutely amazing, and I am so glad that I got her. And I can't recommend her enough to anyone out there that's buying these Suicide Squad figures, because in my opinion, this is the Harley Quinn to get from the DC Mattel line. And you know what? I really like her a lot. So, hey, Mr. Evil Cheese, if you get her, let me know, because I think you'll like this one a lot. So, until next time, tune in for more full reviews. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Quick, to the purple Lamborghini. Let's go.